Greetings and salutations to all of you lovely people out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to another installment of Counter Reaction. So, in today's episode, I'm going to be taking a look at Nas Never Die featuring Lil Wayne. Now, to preface this, huge Nas fan back in the day. As some of you might know, uh, hip hop was my first musical love, discovered it out here in California on the beach with a Sony uh, Discman. Was it a Discman or was it the Walkman CD player? Pretty sure it was a Discman. Either way, the Fugees, the score was inside of that Discman and the rest is history. Uh, discovered Nas, I think the following year, as well as like Gangstar and a few others as well. But shortly after that, you know, I was asking family members like, hey, like, what do you listen to? And, and discovered quite a few different artists as well in, in other genres, uh, Grateful Dead, Smashing Pumpkins. Who else was I listening to pretty heavily? Aerosmith, whose career was revitalized after the whole Run DMC collab. Man, who else was I listening to? Eagles, the Beatles, I mean, I've listened to everything. But yeah, ever since then, I've been on a journey of finding good music. So hopefully this is a good song. I've been looking for some more hip hop. As you guys know, haven't been covering a lot of hip hop here on the channel. I am very critical of it, how rhymes are executed, how they're structured, the cadences, everything, man. I I don't know what to expect. Huge Nas fan, Illmatic, Stillmatic, Nostradamus. But yeah, it's been a long time since I've listened to some old Nas or any of his newer stuff. I did listen to King's Disease. Uh, the first one, I know he's released a few since then, and I thought it was dope. His style didn't change much, um, but you know, I think maybe one or two songs made a playlist, if I'm not mistaken. But Lil Wayne's kind of, in my opinion, just kind of overrated, man. He has some really hot lines, like don't get me wrong, but... The slants, I can't do the slanted rhymes. I just, I just can't. And he does it a lot. But um, it's been a long time since I've heard some Wayne, and uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to give the hip hop heads on the channel something to watch. So haven't been listening to hip hop lately. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We ain't gonna never die. We ain't gonna never die. I'm an icon in real time. Why do I wait this long? Let me tell my ill mind. It kind of sounds like uh, a Smokey sample. It sounds like Smokey. Smokey Robinson. Um, okay, let's go. We ain't gonna never die. We ain't gonna never die. I'm like, oh. Yeah. We ain't gonna. Uh. We ain't gon' never die, icons in real time Why did I wait this long to let y'all in my ill mind? I think the hate was strong, so I went to a chill vibe Could never say goodbye, I let my skill cry Let my soul bleed, inside a rose wearing rosaries Homie, I love the new and why, cause I'm the new and why And the old and why, at the same time I always hit the last shot when it's game time That Jordan Kobe Braun talk, take a long walk You might start to understand what I'm putting on for I left more flows and pro two sessions than you ever thought of with old school methods. But what you hearing is the present day. Over breaks and samples of New York and WA. The brand new, brand newbies in the S and Wayne. Don't threaten me with a good time. We here to say nasty. They don't make them like me. Okay, brand newbian. I don't know if many are familiar. I don't know how old a lot of you guys are. Um, but okay, uh, hip hop group reference. And then he said NAS and Wayne, so himself. Wayne, just some references. He is not really bar heavy. He hasn't been bar heavy in a very long time. He's just never really been bar heavy to begin with. He's very been he's been very like introspective, in, informative, insightful. There's a lot of words that I could use to describe his music. Um, bar heavy would not be one of them, um, unless you listen to Ether. Eh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Nubians in the S and Wayne, don't threaten me with a good time, we here to say, nasty they don't make them like me, mask up, all black, like a pool shiesty, swoop through, I'm like Detroit Red in the zoo suit, loose screws, any great challenges, I find a loop through, loopholes, why they treat me so bad, Club Nouveau, damn, the 
times we living in is crucial. This my time cruise flow. Yo, his uh, his reference game is on point right now. Club Nouveau. And then he mentioned like one of their songs, Why You Treat Me So Bad. I don't know if you guys have heard that song. Um, Why You Treat Me So Bad. That shit slaps. I love that. Like freestyle, funk, that disco era. That shit's huge out here in Southern California. You know, there's, there's a low rider scene out here. And that's typically what we bump. Well, at least here where I reside in Orange County. In LA, they bump oldies. We bump oldies too. Don't don't get it twisted. But funk and and freestyle is pretty pretty big out here in in the OC. So, um, yeah, Club Nouveau. They also had Rumors. If I'm not mistaken, Rumors is another one of their songs. Look at all these rumors. And they also had a song sampled by uh, Snoop, Gin and Juice. I think the whole melody of like. Rolling down the street, smoking and though sipping on gin. That that was. Was that Club Nouveau, that they sampled that from? Man, I don't know. Either way, I might have to edit that in and say whether or not it was or it wasn't. But uh, cool reference game on, on lock. Top Gun, they too slow. Computers ain't fast enough to keep up with nasty cuts. We ain't gonna never die. Never die, never die. <laughs> We ain't gonna never die. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna never die. Okay, so, so Wayne's next. Uh, it's the most replayed part. So hopefully, hopefully it's dope. We ain't gonna never die. Icons of real time. Icons of real time. We ain't gonna never die. Uh. Icons stepping on pythons, spitting that cayenne. Eat you like Zion, peeking at the skyline, reaching for the stars like I'm reaching for the pylon. Stepping on pythons, spitting that cayenne, eat you like Zion, peeking at the skyline, reaching for the stars like Okay. He's from he's from Louisiana, right? Wayne? I could be wrong. Do they say Kayan instead of Cayenne? I, I just wanna know because I already mentioned, you know, he slants rhymes a lot. Um please forgive the noisy ass fucking neighbors that I have next door very inconsiderate people it is what it is um yeah if he says if they say kion instead of cayenne cool i'll give it a pass i'll let it slide i'll let it slide but if that's not the case i ain't letting that shit slide i i just i've told you guys i don't like it it's 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 lazy some people mistake it for like swag or like personality and it's like no it's fucking lazy it's lazy I, I don't like it. I personally don't like it. He speaks well. He's an articulate human being. He knows what he's doing. But, yeah, everybody likes to make excuses for certain artists, man. Not me. No, there, there's a standard that I have from for the, the music that I like, of course. But, um, okay. Let's continue. The snakes, the python. Python, cool. Um, I'm reaching for the pylon. Uh. Stepping on pythons, spitting that cayenne, eat you like Zion, peeking at the skyline, reaching for the stars like I'm reaching for the pylon. I seen you on the sideline, you need to walk a fine line, you need to read the guidelines instead of reading it. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Like a like a football kind of sc- scheme. Nah, not really. It's not. There's not enough substance for a scheme, but the reaching for the pylon. I don't know if you guys know the pylon. Um, the, the basically the, the marker that tells you whether or not a player is inbounds or out out of bounds. Um, it's usually just it's reserved for the end zone. But yeah. Okay. Then he said skipping or let's let's rewind it. Something about uh, a fine line, which, you know, sometimes, you know, the wide receiver has to walk a very fine line to, to get into the end zone. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's rewind this back. I seen you on the sideline. You need to walk a fine line. You need to read the guidelines instead of reading the timelines. Where everybody like mine, nobody flow like mine. I'm sending these niggas, got me coaching niggas like Brown. Tongue, I never bite mine. Got dough like Taekwon. To spend all this money, I'ma have to spend a lifetime. You broke ain't even buy time. Should throw niggas a lifeline. No money on my mind, and I be on. Man, these like dual syllabic rhymes are not hitting for me. This is two syllables, bro. Like, there's got to be a little bit more substance. I know that this isn't the easiest beat. I don't know the BPMs. I could, I could try to guess. 
nah, I'm not gonna guess, but if I get it, I get it. He there's multiple ways to attack this beat, but um, I'm not liking it so far from Wayne. Need to read the guidelines instead of reading the timelines. Where everybody like line, nobody flow like mine. I'm so I mean, that there's some substance there, like you know, people are reading the headlines. And then he mentions people lying, and yeah, I mean, okay, cool. It's topical. It's topical. Cool. You're on the sideline. You need to walk a fine line. You need to read the guidelines instead of reading the timelines. Where everybody like line, nobody flow like mine. I'm sending these niggas got me. He said timelines. Okay, that's that's. It's still applicable. It's still applicable. Not headlines, but it's it's applicable. Okay. Coaching niggas like crime. Tongue I never bite mine. Got dough like Taekwon. To spin. And these niggas got me coaching niggas like crown Tongue I never bite mine got A Deion Sanders line, cool, or reference, I guess you could say Reading the timeline, where everybody like line Nobody flow like mine I'm sending these niggas got me coaching niggas like crown Tongue I never bite mine, got dough like Taekwon To spend all this money, I'ma have to spend a lifetime Broke can't even buy time, should throw niggas a lifeline No money on my mind, and I be on your wife mind I hit her with the pipe bomb, then pass it down the pipeline But actually we quite fine, diamonds on me sparkling and splash did he say hit her with the pipe I'm like a transition to the next line or did he say pipe bomb and pronounce it with pronounce it as like pipe bomb pipe bomb is that what he said bro it drives me crazy coaching niggas like crown tongue I never bite mine got dough like taekwon to spend all this money I'm gonna have to spend a lifetime you broke can't even buy time should throw niggas a lifeline no money on my mind and I be on your wife mind I hit her with the they pass it down the pipeline, but actually we quite fine. Diamonds on me sparkling and splashing like some white wine. They love me in the nighttime, they hate me when the light shine. Shots I got a hundred, and problems I got nine nine. Boo got it by run, take off with no flight time. Babbage on the passenger side, she don't even like flying. Booty soft as nightline, you niggas small as my crime. I got a black Nina that can nasty. Yeah, some simple stuff in here that you guys can, or that everybody, the listener, can try to interpret as a bar or something dope. It's just. It's just like subtle wordplay. It's nothing. It's really nothing crazy. Booty soft as nightline. You niggas small as my crime. I got a black Nina that can nasty as a white blind. Low credit, high crime. Open mind, tight rhymes. When they hit my lines, these rappers gotta catch up like Hans. Weezy in my. Hold on. Got it by run, take off with no flight time. Babbage on the passenger side, she don't even like flying. Booty soft as nightline, you niggas small as my crime. I got a black Nina that get nasty as a white blind. Low credit, high crime, open mind, tight rhymes. When they hit my lines, these rappers gotta catch up like Hans. Weezy in my slime knives, ain't nobody like eyes. Like bygones, gotta let icons be icons. Hi moms. <sighs> Are you guys letting them get that off? The catch-up line? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Like Hans, Weezy in my slime knives. Ain't nobody like eyes. Like the white blind. Low credit, high crime. Open mind, tight rhymes. When they hit my lines, these rappers gotta catch up like Hans. Weezy in my slime knives. Ain't nobody like eyes. Like bygones, gotta let icons be icons. Hi, moms. That's smoky or not. I could be mistaken. Is it say goodbye? No, I don't think it's say goodbye. No. Produced by Hit Boy. Sounded a little Rizza ish to me, but uh, pretty dope beat. Not gonna lie. Um, so let's just go ahead and get right into it, right? I think I was critical enough throughout the song for you guys to know exactly where this is going. So with that being said, yeah, yeah, no lister. It wasn't bad enough to go on the blacklist, but definitely not good enough to go on the playlist. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care if I hear this song again, but... It was it was kind of cool. Didn't do it for me personally. Did not do it for me. But everybody has their preferences. Um, everybody has their own set of standards that they that they have within a genre. 
Um, when it comes to, to hip hop, I try to cater those same exact standards to the actual individual artist of based, based off of like what I've heard from them. I try to do that as best as possible because I get better results that way. But I do have multiple scales in which I use to rate the music that I listen to. And it's not hitting on any of the scales for either of them individually or separately uh, as it pertains to the genre as a whole. So, or the, the art form or craft of songwriting. So, um, I mean, I'm a little bummed out. You guys know I love good music. I love new music and, uh, was kind of hopeful that this was going to make a playlist. It is what it is, but, um, Hey, you can't win them all, right? But that is going to be all for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I do hope to catch you all on the next one.